Hey, it's Elizabeth in the library, and I'm here to answer another question. This one is from a professor, but he is asking for his students. So he said, outside of the cool resources, oh, Professor Davis trying to butter up the library, provided through the online library, which search engines or databases would you recommend for finding academic articles? And then he said he's thinking about Google Scholar. And yeah, Google Scholar is actually probably one of the ones I'd recommend. It really depends on what kind of topics you're looking for, but Google Scholar is really good for overall. And so Google Scholar, let's walk through how to do that right now. What will happen is you'll go to Google Scholar and that's scholar.google.com. Then you can type in whatever you're searching for. In this example, I'm searching for some play tectonics. And what will happen here is you're going to get your, your results. And you don't always get links to full text articles in Google Scholar. But in this one, we actually have a lot of um, full text articles linked. And you'll see on the right hand side that you can click on any of these links and it will take you to the full text article. And I want to show you here the third one down, it actually says find at Coastline Library. And the reason that happened is because I have linked some of our big databases, the ones that I'm able to link, to Google Scholar. So if you have signed into your Gmail account, your Google account, you can go click on the line to come down to settings. And in settings, you're, you're going to click on library links. And in the search box, you'll just type in Coastline and hit search. And what will happen then is that you will have the options for the databases that I've linked for Coastline. So you'll just check mark those and you'll click save. And for, for Google Scholar, you can search up to five libraries. Um, you can save those as your libraries and you just to know you need to have access to get into those. So when you find an article in Google Scholar, we'll go back to that page. Then you'll just click on it, and if you haven't already logged into the library, it'll just ask you to log in, and then it will take you straight to the article. So here we have an article, and then from here you can click on the full text and download it if you like. So there you go. That's just a quick overview of how the library is linked to Google Scholar. Yes, I totally recommend it if you're looking um, for things and you've already kind of looked in the library databases, or if you kind of want to start there, because we do have a few of our databases linked there. All right, if you have any other questions, just contact me in the library. Have a great day. Bye.